All right, so here's a quick and easy uh, tutorial on how to install TMC 2208 drivers in a TiVo Tornado with an MKS Gen L board. Um, you can see right here is what your factory drivers are going to look like. And starting in the front, going to the back, they're going to be... That'll be your extruder driver, Z driver, Y, and then X back there in the back. Um, so what you want to do is pull your old drivers out, power your machine off first. Pull your old drivers out, and then you will have them on the table. They will look like this. If you flip them over, you'll see the pins are labeled. So what you want to make sure is that you line up the labels on your pins with your new driver um, to correspond with your old one. So this original driver is labeled on the underside. My new driver has the labels on the top side. So what I need to do is make sure that your orientation will be like this. So you need to make sure that what is lined up on this green side is going to be the same as what's lined up on this side here. As you can see, those match up. So that's the orientation. I pulled these drivers out. This is the orientation that I'm going to put these drivers in. And as you can see, I already have them installed in here. They're simply just unplug and plug in. Now, I do not have a 2208 as my extruder driver. Um, I originally had one in there as the extruder driver, and it just it didn't have the guts to drive the extruder. It was skipping and having trouble retracting, so until I get a different driver, I'm just going to run the factory driver in there. So... Now let's move on to uh, V-Refs. After you get your uh, drivers installed, get your multimeter, set it to DC voltage, and I grab my ground lug back here on that lug right there, and then you will take your positive probe on the factory drivers, you'll touch it to the actual potentiometer right there to get your reading. On these TMC 2208s, let me see if I can get in here close enough to actually see it. Right there. That is the potentiometer that you will adjust to uh, set your VREFs on these drivers. So what I'm running them at is I'm running them about 1.1 volts on the X and the Z, and I'm running about 1.2 volts on the Y. And basically you can do this a couple of two ways. You can, it's hard to do all of this with uh, one hand and trying to hold a camera, but get your ground in there like that, and then... What I will do is I will take a small metal screwdriver like this, and then that way I can adjust it with one hand, and then I will actually have the screwdriver in the pot like that, and with my other hand I'll be holding it on the metal blade of the screwdriver like that, if that makes sense to you. Um, hope this helps. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Alright, so a couple things I forgot to add in that video. Uh, first off, you can see how quiet and how smooth this dude's running right now, which is pretty sweet. Um, first thing is make sure that your machine is powered off when you're going to replace the drivers, but you have to make sure that it is powered on when you're setting your V-REFs. Also, when you first start to use it, if you do not flash your firmware, um, the axes that you put your drivers in are going to run backwards, um, which freaked me out when I first powered this on because the Z went up, the Y went the opposite direction, the X went the opposite direction. So you have to go into your firmware and you have to invert the direction 
of your drivers. Um, you don't need to do that for the extruder driver unless you change that driver out as well. Um, it's pretty straightforward. There's lots of tutorials online on how to do that, but if you need a hand on that, just let me know.